man oh man what's going on guys welcome back to the channel man today i'm gonna be showing you guys the settings i have been using for season one of caldera i don't even know what season it is at this point but man settings will be at the end of the video so if you guys do want to go check that out i'll probably put a timestamp in the description so you guys can just go skip to it i dropped a 22 kill game today with a cooper carbine smg build hope you guys do enjoy the gameplay we'll hop right into the classroom real quick and then at the end of the video like i said before will be my settings and stuff not gonna go through every single attachment but these are the attachment that i was using so if you guys do want to use it go ahead it's very very good i definitely suggest you guys use this if you guys do play rebirth and yeah man let's hop right into this gameplay i will see you guys on the next video you pulled up on me with a shotgun and just crash walking like what there's a blue mp40 over here by the way i already have one That just doesn't know what to do. They're on top, they're on top. They're running inside. Last one's roof. Oh. More. There's two. There's no two. The kid said, What's up with all the jumping, you dumb bitch? <laughs> Just doing the damn thing on him, you know? Oh my god. Oh my god, I just don't ride that guy. Let's go, BB! Yeah, yeah! Above. UAV entering the AO. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for. Dumbass. They're all bottom right here. I'm making a gas play. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for. Shit, these kids are so weird. Dude, like, of course, they're just sitting nut to butt, bro. Like, they're sitting on top of each other. Oh, 
good all right i hope you guys did enjoy that gameplay man let's hop right into these settings real quick so this is what i've been rocking ever since this new map came out i've been rocking a default button layout so i have paddles on the back of my controller i'll show you guys real quick as you guys can see i use the playstation 4 back button attachment it's like 20 bucks at best buy and then on my right stick i use a tall control freak i don't know if you guys use control freaks or not but if you do code mason in the shop and it'll get you 10 percent off your next purchase but yeah man i can't play without control freaks it's a must for my left and right stick minimum input dead zone this is just a regular dead zone so basically how far you have to push your stick for it to start moving i have it on 0.05 i've always used 0.05 i've never bumped it up i've never turned it down this is a new setting right here that they added into the game the left stick and right stick maximum input dead zone just keep it on 0.99 there's no reason to go up or down on this it just feels normal with it on for my horizontal and vertical sensitivity i play on a 99 sensitivity i know it's a lot faster than some other people's but i think that it is very needed to play on a higher sensitivity in like rebirth guns in this game have such high time to kills that you basically have no time to react so higher sensitivity in my opinion is worth it i pretty much go from low zoom to 3x um having a 0.8 so it's like a 7.3 or 4 sensitivity and then everything else i keep on one so like sniper scopes and 4x scopes and stuff like that i don't know why they added this into the game i feel like it's very unnecessary they should have just had a low zoom and a high zoom like they did before but obviously they just always want to mess up their game in some some way so in response curve i use dynamic controller vibration i have it on i know this is very weird a lot of people think that you need to turn it off you need to turn it off because it messes with your aim and stuff personally vibration does not play any part in how bad you aim or how good you aim i think i'm one of the most accurate controller players not trying to be like cocky or anything like that but as you guys see in my gameplay i barely am missing any of my shots ever on anybody long range close range anything and i use vibration so it just doesn't make any sense that when people say turn it off it'll make you better not true at all I miss this i keep on standard do not change this just keep it on standard yeah, let me miss this with fov i keep it enabled a lot of people play it off a lot of people play with it on this is something that when you get on the game you have to kind of fiddle with and ever since i've been on pc i've always used enabled and i i tried disabled for a little bit having it disabled is a little bit better at range and then having it enabled is a little bit better up close but if you guys can get used to it at long range enabled is just the way to go i think enabled is the best a couple different things left in the settings is the use and reload behavior i have it on contextual tap if you guys are using controller and don't use contextual tab i don't know what you're doing man i'm gonna play behavior keep it on apply all slide behavior keep that on tap automatic tactical sprint is a must if you guys don't have this on it makes your movement 10 times better like right when you turn it on so if you guys don't have that on definitely turn it on and get used to it and then the vehicle camera recenter and then the parachute auto deploy i have those disabled so that's pretty much it those are the settings that i use i hope you guys did enjoy if you did like down below it'd be much appreciated and while you're down there subscribe to the channel dude and yeah man that's pretty much it i'll see you guys on the next video